Hey guys, this is Dr. Mercy, and tonight we are going to talk about the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack um, and program. And the reason we're going to talk about that is because a lot of people take supplements, but they don't know exactly what they're taking or why they're taking it. And so tonight we want to talk about why you might want to start thinking about taking supplements that are researched and that are produced independently. Um, one of the things most people don't realize in the US, 90% um, of all of the supplements are produced in one of five laboratories and then they are shipped out for packaging. So what that means is that your um, Centrum Silver vitamin is the same as a standard Centrum vitamin and it's the same as the Kirkland brand vitamin and it's the same as the Safeway brand vitamin and so on. So you're not really getting everything that might be shared as being in that bottle. And even if you are, it may not be in the most bioavailable form. Interestingly enough, any vitamin supplement, essential oil, um, protein powder, any of that stuff in the United States that's produced is considered a supplement and is not regulated by the FDA. So what that means is if they make a claim, it has to, all it has to do is have a little asterisk that says um, statements not evaluated by the FDA um, and not, not meant to diagnose, treat, or um, prevent or cure any disease. That's all they have to put on it and they can get away with putting whatever else on the bottle that they want to because it's not regulated by the FDA. The only thing they can't do is make a product that would cause harm to a person. So obviously they're going to provide a product that creates the least harm, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it has in it what you're looking for or even what you need out of the product. Um, the other thing, I don't know if you can tell here, but these pills here are a vegetable capsule and the inside is filled with a powder. And the reason that's important is because most of us, if you've ever suffered from any kind of heartburn or feeling like you're bloated within two hours after you're eating, is because you're not actually producing enough stomach acid for most of us. And what that means is those hard baked pills like a Centrum Silver, like a Centrum Vitamin, like a Centrum Woman's, um, means that your stomach doesn't actually have enough time or enough acid to break the pill down. So you want to consider switching over your multivitamin um, to something that definitely has a vegetable capsule and is a powder in the middle. Now the omega essential oil uh, complex here is a uh, ratio of EPA and DHA. Um, and that's important because your brain does need both of those to function. Your nervous system needs both of those to function. Um, and it is in a... Um, enteric coated capsule. And that's important because you actually do want that to get through the stomach and into the small intestine because it does more healing in that area. So reasons you might take a supplement, number one, um, you may not eat as balanced of a diet as you should. And when I say balanced, each meal that you have should have somewhere between four to six ounces of a protein source. Um, it should have two to two and a half cups of a variety of vegetables and it should have about three quarters of a cup of fruit. Notice I didn't mention that it should have any processed foods. It can also have something like fresh nuts that aren't cooked um, and that is also a healthy balance to your meal. But again, that's not a processed food. So we're not talking about um, protein from a lunch meat or protein from um, prepackaged sausages, those kinds of things. We're talking about whole proteins like chicken, fish, um, steak, beef, uh, pork, those kinds of things, even eggs. But six ounces of egg whites is a lot of egg whites. Um, and again, you can eat the yolks and eggs. They've gotten a bad rap for a really long time, but your body does need that cholesterol. But if you're not eating a balanced diet, that would be one reason why you might think about taking a supplement. The nice thing about 
the lifelong vitality pack is that you're getting your in the middle of this microplex vm is the um vitamins and minerals that you would need in a day and then the alpha crs is actually a very handy antioxidant which if you want to think about antioxidants we're talking about vitamin e vitamin c um, and other plant-based antioxidants that you get like beta carotene uh, and those kinds of things that help your body reduce the stress load on it. And then the essential oil, obviously to help the nervous system, but it also helps the cartilage and the joints do some repair work. So those are some reasons why you might um, take a multivitamin. Uh, the other reason is you might just be experiencing some effects of aging and you want a way to help slow that down. There is some research behind this product that shows that people who take this product um, have better blood work and they actually appear younger than their counterparts who are not taking these supplements. So what is wellness? For different people, that is different things. Some people, it means they can go and run a marathon. For some people, it means they can work out four days a week. For some people, it means that they're able to walk a mile every day. And your wellness is going to be determined by your life experiences and what your body's capabilities are when you start and how we're going to finish, right? So what I look at in terms of wellness is that if we were to look at you, we wouldn't see a ton of inflammation. So your face wouldn't be puffy. The eyes would not be puffy. You wouldn't have puffiness in the hands wrists, ankles, or feet. Um, there wouldn't be joint swelling at the end of the day, particularly in the feet and the uh, ankles or in the hands. Um, and then we would see blood work panels that looked within a normal range. So your A1C would be in a normal range. Your um, thyroid hormones would be in an optimal range. Your uh, insulin resistance level fasting would be in a normal range and your blood glucose would be in a normal range fasting as well. And then of course, um, some other areas that we look at are the total blood volume and blood count, as well as what's called your MCV, which is how fast your red blood cells are maturing and dying off. So the other things we would see in terms of wellness from what I'm looking at is you can eat a meal and feel healthy after that meal. There's no bloating, no indigestion, no heartburn. Um, you don't have extreme gas after a meal. You don't feel discomfort anywhere in the abdomen. Um, another measure of wellness for me is that you're having at least, at least one bowel mo movement, if not two a day, and that you're getting close to 80 ounces to 100 ounces of non-caffeinated, hopefully mostly water, fluids a day. So, um, you know, if you have one decaffeinated tea or a small four to six ounce glass of juice, not a big deal, but we want most of that fluid to be coming from water. Um, wellness also means that you're getting somewhere between six and seven, um, six and eight hours of sleep, hopefully right around seven, and that you are um, able to sleep and feel rested oh, when you get up. And also, um, that you are feeling like you're capable of moving every day. So some of the risk factors that are beyond our control a little bit, the number one thing is genetics. So if you look at your family and everyone in your family has X, the likelihood that that's genetic is higher. But there are some ways to um, stop family history, like family history of heart disease, that track record can be broken with changes in your behaviors and your eating habits and even supplements that you take. Um, there may be a predisposition to a disease genetically, but if supported the right way through supplements, you might be able to fight that off. And that's important to know. Um, so a lot of people ask them, well, how do I get my genetics tested? Well, there's a very simple test out there that can give you a ton of information about things that you can actually work to change. So it's not going to test things like the BRCA gene or the gene for colon cancer or that kind of thing, but it's going to tell you whether or not your body is prone to oxidative stress that can lead to different types of cancer and how we need to support it so that it doesn't happen. It's going to tell you how well your vitamin receives things like vitamin D, 
vitamin C, vitamin A, it's going to tell you how well you break down fats, that kind of thing, all for about $425, which is in the grand scheme of things, not that expensive when you consider that I had one genetic test run for rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, and that test was $1,800 with my health insurance. Things that are within our control, the biggest one I can tell you is your nutrition. So on this slide, it says diet. Diets are things that people die by. They do a diet, they get frustrated with it, they walk away from it. A nutrition strategy for your life is what's most important. Um, and again, that includes having somewhere between four and six ounces of protein source, uh, two and to two and a half cups of vegetables at each meal, including breakfast. Uh, and then also having uh, three quarters of a cup of fruit at each meal. And then maybe some nuts or high quality fats, things like that. Uh, your exercise habits. You should go for a walk every day. That walk can be broken up into three different 10 minute walks and that would be just fine. But movement every day, particularly in the 30 minutes directly after a meal can help change your health beyond measure. It actually helps the pancreas and lowers your risk of type two diabetes by about 30%. And then managing your stress. One of the best ways to manage stress is simply to take time to acknowledge what's happening, notify yourself of what those triggers are, find a way to reduce those triggers, and then look at the situation as if you were giving someone else advice about that same situation so that you're not emotionally attached to it. Uh, another thing coming out of Harvard Health is that deep breathing for five minutes a day where you take a breath in through the nose for six seconds, hold it for two seconds, out through the nose for six seconds can actually really improve your stress levels. And you just do that five minutes, three times a day. And then sleeping. Um, you really should set up a sleep pattern even for the weekends where you try and go to bed around the same time and get up around the same time every day. It's been shown to lower blood pressure, lower fasting insulin and fasting glucose levels, which lowers your risk of type two diabetes, and it lowers your resting heart rate, which decreases your risk of a heart attack. Um, obstacles that impede wellness in our modern society. Number one is our 24 attachment, 24 seven attachment to devices. Um, if you can do a device cleanse for 72 hours out of every quarter, if you could do it every month, the changes you will see in your health will be phenomenal. Um, and I literally, like, if you put it down, if you're going for a three-day weekend, let's say, so we've got um, the next holiday here coming up would be Thanksgiving. Um, so if you took your phone and didn't touch it from Thursday until you went back to work on Monday. What do you think your stress level would be like without having the stimulation of all the social media, the news, um, the emails that you don't, the, they are not urgent, they are just coming in anyway. What kind of stress level would you have if you could get rid of that from Thanksgiving day until, Black, uh, until Cyber Monday? Um, lack of exercise, we find excuses all over the place to not exercise. And really what that's done to us is increase our waistlines, which increases stress on our hearts and decrease our motivation. It's also created a significant, significant hormone imbalance that causes um, problems in our overall health, but our reproductive health as well. I mean, there are more women who are requiring um, help to get pregnant than at any other point in time. So if we can find a way to decrease the waistline and improve our natural hormone levels, why wouldn't we want to do that? Why wouldn't we want to make having um, a baby one of the easiest things or improving the way that we feel in our clothes or the way we feel in our body and having less inflammation and pain a priority? Another big one is lack of quality sleep. Uh, the average American sleeps about four and a half hours a night, and we should be getting at least seven hours a night, if not eight or nine. I mean, I know eight to nine is difficult. I don't get that much sleep. There are times when I wish I could, but it just doesn't happen. 
And then nutrient, uh, nutrient deficiencies caused by our diet. Um, we are the United States, the most overfed, undernourished population in all of current modern day society. We have so many foods at our disposal that have no nutrient value, and yet we shovel them in like they are a gift from God. And then we wonder why we don't feel well um, or why we have autoimmune diseases or why we have um, headaches, chronic headaches um, or low back pain. And yes, low back pain can be directly linked to this. So when you are thinking about what you're putting into your body, um, an image that I give people occasionally and I forgot to put it in the slides, but I took a picture of a plate of broccoli. The plate was about this big, so about the size around in my face, stacked two inches high. That entire plate was 200 calories. Broccoli has potassium, calcium, um, zinc, uh, manganese, molybdenum. Uh, it has a, a substance in it that's called DIM that helps uh, your liver detox. It helps improve bowel function. Um, and it helps with your vision. 200 calories is a plate the size of my face and two inches deep. A plate of Oreos that is 200 calories is two and a half Oreos. If you're getting a double stuffed Oreo, it's one cookie. How many of you buy a package of Oreos and eat only one cookie at a time? So think about that again, something that is this big and this thick is 200 calories versus something that is this big and this thick. And the nutrient deficiencies that come from that 200 calorie Oreo that we eat on a daily basis. And then in our environment, we're exposed to toxins. Um, if you live in an urban environment where they regularly spray pesticides, herbicides, that kind of thing to get rid of weeds or troublesome bugs, uh, you will notice that your health will decline. If you live um, in a home where there's chemicals used to clean the home, you'll notice that your health will decline. Um, some of the biggest, what we call endocrine disruptors, hormone disruptors um, in your home are the things that you use to clean your bathtub, your shower, your mirrors, and then scented candles. So 95% of adults are vitamin D deficient. Vitamin D is the backbone of every hormone produced in your body. Um, when you don't have vitamin D, you're actually more likely to develop a blood clot, which means you're more likely to develop a stroke. Um, it's very important for normal hormone balance, normal weight management, as well as protecting your skin from uh, certain types of cancer. Um, vitamin E is another one where a lot of people, 94% of people are deficient in vitamin E and vitamin E is a huge antioxidant that helps your body do tissue repair. So if you're lacking in vitamin E, your body can't repair its tissues like it normally would. Magnesium, um, this also is another big one for helping support both thyroid, liver, and pancreatic health. It also helps support normal uh, movement of the bowels. So we wanna make sure we have that. Vitamin A is another one that helps with tissue repair. It particularly helps repair of tissue in the eyes. So if you've noticed a decline in vision, vitamin A may be a supplement you need to take. Obviously there are a bunch of reasons why we need calcium. It helps with all of our tissues, including specifically contraction of the heart muscle tissue. And then vitamin C is another very strong antioxidant that we need to be taking, um, especially in times of cold and flu seasons or other respiratory illnesses. So what happens when we don't meet our daily nutrient requirements? A lot of things. Um, those who don't meet them on a regular basis start to have things like autoimmune disorders pop up. They have um, pain in different areas. They'll suffer from depression. They will suffer from anxiety. Um, they'll have osteoporosis at a very young age. They have heart disease. So when your body is deprived of vitamins and minerals, 
it can't function properly. Uh, even more recently, looking at vitamin D, zinc, magnesium, um, copper, and manganese, those all help support thyroid health, which is basically the engine of the body. So if you think about the engine of the car and you take out one of the pistons, the engine doesn't work anymore. Well, if you take away those nutrients, the thyroid doesn't work anymore, which means your engine is broken, which means you are broken. So we really need to make sure that we're supplementing these things because we need to know that we are giving our body the best chance at survival. So why do we use supplements? Promoting overall wellness, making up for nutritional deficiencies, helping detox from toxins in our environment, um, addressing other personal health issues, maintaining good health during aging, and combined with exercise, healthy eating for a well-rounded, healthy lifestyle is very important to have supplements. Um, the other thing to note is that our soil quality is not what it was. Um, and a lot of the substances that we have access to now are genetically modified. So they don't have the same nutrients or the same bioavailability of nutrients as they used to. So how do you cultivate a healthy lifestyle? One of the biggest ways is to start making things a routine. And one of the best ways you can make it a routine is to put it on your calendar. Now, if you use your phone as your calendar, great. Put it as an appointment with an alert reminder that goes off that tells you, take my supplements and then pay attention to that. But also put on there things like time to exercise. Even if that's just your 10 minute walk after breakfast, your 10 minute walk after lunch and your 10 minute walk after dinner, start doing little things to make changes. Um, set an alarm for when you should be getting ready for bed. And that way you walk upstairs when that alarm goes off. And then make sure you choose healthy, high quality supplements, not just something that you can buy off the shelf at any vitamin store or King Supers supermarket like that. So the Lifelong Vitality Program um, comes in these three bottles, or it also comes where you can get it in individually wrapped daily packages. And you can do either one. Um, I use the three bottles. I do that because I don't want the little microplastics in the environment, and that's my way of helping out. Um, these bottles are glass. The tops are plastic, but the bottles themselves are glass, and so they're very recyclable. So the Lifelong Vitality Pack, again, has the Alpha CRS, which is the um, cellular vitality or antioxidant repair portion, the EX Omega, um, sorry, XE Omega, and the Micro VMZ. And these also have some essential oils in them that if you're somebody who's had some stomach upset before with taking vitamins, number one, you probably don't have enough um, hydrochloric acid in the stomach. But number two, these essential oil blends that are in these are designed to help reduce that stomach upset that comes with taking vitamins. So obviously we need antioxidant support for tissue repair. We need immune support to help our body defend against threats in our environment, seasonal colds, allergies, flu, um, strep throat, uh, laryngitis, those kinds of things. But we also need um, the benefits of the Lifelong Vitality Pack to help support nutrients that we may not be getting in our environment. And the nice thing about this, and one of the reasons that I have decided to choose doTERRA as a product that I represent, is they do so much research on their products and quality standard checks. And they are actually in the process of getting a lot of their products labeled as FDA approved pharmaceutical grade, which is a big step for them. It's a very expensive step for them to take, but they believe it's that important because they want people to know that absolutely this product is safe and it can move their health forward. So I think that that's very, very important. Um, price comparison. So the Lifelong Vitality Pack, if you sign up for a doTERRA account, it's $79.50 a month. If you were to buy all the individual ingredients that are in the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack and try and get those at the same quality level where you could absorb them and use them, because your body cannot absorb these little baked pills, 
it needs ones like this and ones like this. You would spend between $200 and $300 looking for those supplements. So alpha means first or highest, CRS means cellular renewers, renewal, renewal system, and plus is added to um, emphasize improvements made in the original product. So they've made some changes to this product based on new research over the years, um, and they continue to make changes to this product based on research that comes out every year from pharmaceutical schools across the country, including Johns Hopkins, Rosamond, and um, the Mayo Clinic. So new research is being done all the time, and doTERRA very much believes in following the newest research because that's the best evidence-based medicine. Oops, sorry about that. So the antioxidant gives an electron to a free radical, neutralizes that free radical. That free radical can no longer then change cells to do things that they're not supposed to do, and it's DNA protective. The ingredients are boswellia, which is frankincense, bicalin, milk thistle, resveratrol, green tea leaf, pomegranate, pineapple, which has bromelian, which has actually um, been shown to help you with weight loss as well, turmeric, which they're actually even telling you to not take before a surgery because they know how anti-inflammatory it is, grapeseed, sesame seed, and pine bark. Austin, can you get me a glass of water, buddy? And the benefits are that it supports healthy function by protecting the cellular DNA. It promotes cellular energy by supporting the mitochondria and the health of the mitochondria. And it supports a healthy cellular immune function um, and mental clarity and brain function. Frankincense is super protective and it's one of those things that everyone could benefit from taking. That was Austin. Thank you, buddy. And frankincense actually even used on the skin that helps improve the quality of the skin. It helps decrease breakouts and it helps improve overall vitality of the skin. The AX Omega, X stands for astaxanthin, um, which is a microalgae. The EO stands for essential oil and it's a certified pure therapeutic grade essential oil. And then the mega represents the omega benefits provided by the complex. It has omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9 fatty acids in it, and you do need all three of those to help support nerve and brain function, as well as joint function and cartilage reproduction. The omega-3 has the vitamin E, EPA, and DHA, just like I said before, and it's from a, both a marine and plant omega blend. It has natural vitamin D and E, and of course, again, the astaxanthin. The essential oil blend that is in it is clove, which is um, actually good for helping the vagus nerve calm down. Frankincense, which is, again, very restorative. Thyme, cumin, which is another anti-inflammatory, wild orange, which has been um, shown to improve overall mood, as well as peppermint, which helps wake you up, ginger to help settle the stomach, and German chamomile to calm the lining of the stomach and the small intestine. So again, it helps brain function, cell growth, immune function, muscle activity, joint health, and heart and circulatory health. It does promote healthy skin. Uh, and it also helps improve tissue in the eyes and it helps with uh, circulatory system. The astaxanthin actually helps with cardiovascular health a lot. So there's a vegan option for the omega oil and it comes only from um, plant-based um, omegas of three, six, and nine. So if you are vegan, there is an option for you there. The Microflex VMZ is a combination of the words micronutrient and complex, and the V and M stand for vitamins and minerals. The Z represents improvements made to original product. So again, this is another product that with new research, so Tara is adapting to the new research because they want to have the best product on the market. Um, it has magnesium, B12, iron, B1, uh, uh, selenium, magnesium, zinc, chromium, B5, E, um, zinc, 
D3, B6, B9, A, uh, copper, chromium, and manganese. And those are all important because they are all essential for your body to function normally. So when you're looking at what other vitamins have, you want to make sure that that's also balanced. Sorry, I'm not, I haven't been keeping up with my notes and this has another, it has the old list. Um, it's a balanced blend of essential vitamins and minerals as well. So they're in perfect ratios for your body to absorb them and use them. They are whole food based because what doTERRA has learned over the years, and especially with a study that just came out on their lavender, which now does have FDA approval to say that it helps improve mood, helps decrease muscle and skin irritation, and helps decrease stress overall and anxiety. Um, they have shown that the whole food botanicals is better than any one of the individual parts by themselves. So when you're looking at what you want to be taking, you want to make sure that it comes from whole foods. And then, okay, that was weird. And then it has the tummy tamer botanical blend in it, which is a blend we use in our house a lot. We use it for um, when the kids get into things that they might be allergic to, but also when they're stressed out and their um, stomach is just not functioning the way it's supposed to. And um, I use it when I eat dairy in particular because Deary and I are not friends, um, but sometimes I like to have a little bit of cheese. So the tummy tamer blend is peppermint, ginger, and caraway seed, and then or fennel. Um, and it actually, it's very tasty. <laughs> and you can take this one internal because obviously all of these are things that you would eat anyway. Um, so it's a very good blend to stick just like a drop or two in your water and help calm down that stomach after you eat. So it's 22 essential vitamins and minerals to support normal growth function and maintenance of the cells. It fights free radicals with the antioxidants A, C, and E. It supports healthy metabolism and cellular energy, and it supports bone and thyroid health with calcium, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin D. It supports healthy immune function, healthy digestion, and includes planted, a patented glycoprotein matrix for enhanced bioavailability. There's also a vegan version of this. So again, if you are vegan, we can get this vegan for you. So how would you incorporate this into daily life? Well, some people, it's basically, it's four pills of each of those. So some people like to take two of each in the morning and two of each in the evening um, to be able to split them up. Some people like to just take them all in the morning or get, they get those handy little packs and the little packs are just convenient. So they just incorporate them in with their breakfast. Um, but one of the most important things is to improve those eating habits and then make sure you're getting regular exercise. Make sure that you're resting enough seven hours of sleep, if not up to nine a night. Um, if you're going to take a nap, do it before 3 p.m. and then make sure you're managing stress. Obviously, reducing toxins in your everyday life. And if you're interested in learning how we can use essential oils in the home to clean the home, Dokatera just came out, launched a new line in September of 2021 called the Abode line, and it is fabulous. Um, even the kids like the way it smells. So that's great. And then informed self-care. So what can you do on your own that doesn't require a visit to your primary care physician in order to help your own health and then being proactive in your medical care. So if you are someone with a medical condition, how can we educate you and get you the best information so that you can better advocate for yourself when you do have to have that meeting with your physician? So um, obviously, uh, especially the oil, the Omega oil has a shelf life. Um, and there is a date featured on the bottle and you want to use by that date. Um, the best way to take it is to take two capsules of each at breakfast. And then if you can, two capsules of each at lunch so that you don't have the pills in your stomach at night. Um, and then if you want to talk about using it with kiddos, 
Um, obviously we have a kid's line as well and they have chewable supplements. Um, but with kiddos, the dosing for this would be half. So if you have two kids, you would have them each taking half if they are able to swallow a pill. So that's usually age eight and above. You don't wanna give it to kiddos that are under eight in even a half dose, you'd be giving it in a quarter dose. So one bottle of each would last them for four months, basically. doTERRA also runs the Lifelong Vitality 30 Day Challenge. If you are not satisfied with your purchase after 30 days, um, they will refund you. So you can send it back um, and they will just give it back to you because they want you to be happy with the product because they believe in the product so much, they are willing to give that money back to you. So if you have any more questions about the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack um, or you want more videos that you can watch, let me know and I will send you some links. Um, if you have any other questions that you want, Dr. Marcy at agilityphysio.com. Um, and if you're interested in a, in a free wellness consultation and how we can improve your health, there are links on my website, www.5280restorativemed.com. Uh, Thanks and have a great night, guys.